Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter 3 is Hot Dog Cookout Calculator. Alright, so assume that the hot dogs, as, sorry, assume that hot dogs come in packages of 10 and hot dog buns come in packages of 8. Write a program that calculates the number of packages of hot dogs and the number of packages of hot dog buns needed for a cookout with the minimum amount of leftovers, okay? Uh, it was a bit awkward there, okay? With the minimum amount of leftovers. The program should ask the user for the number of people attending the cookout and the number of hot dogs each person will be given. The program should display the following details. The minimum number of packages of hot dogs required. The minimum number of packages of hot dog buns required. The number of hot dogs that will be left over. The number of hot dog buns that will be left over. All right. Okay, so with this question, the program is going to ask the user for how many people are going to attend um, a cookout. And it's also going to ask how many hot dogs each um, per person is going to get. Okay, and then based on that, we are going to display uh, the minimum number of packages that they have to buy. Um, you know, given given the numbers, um, given the numbers, there are ten hot dogs in in a, in a pack, and there are eight hot dog buns in a pack. So the program is going to st uh, basically calculate and display the minimum number of um, packages of hot dogs required, and the minimum number of packages of hot dog buns required, the hot dogs left over, and then the hot dog buns left over. Okay, so um, I need a calculator for this one, so I'll go ahead and I'll um, open one, and then I'll be using it as we're doing this. All right. All right, so I'll, I'll go ahead and um, I'll first, I'll first, you know, go over some scenarios. So, f um, as you know, as I'm doing it, I'll be using the calculator uh, along with it. So, first of all, let's go ahead and um, ask for a few details. So, it says write a program that calculates the number of packages of hot dogs. Okay, so it doesn't really. Okay, so it says the over here. It says the program should ask the user for the number of people. I changed the the color from from, from yellow to blue, so it's a bit unreadable, but. I'll, pro I'll probably I'll change it for the next program, so I hope you can read this when I highlight it. Okay, so the program should ask the user for the number of people attending the cookout, okay, and the number of hot dogs each person will be given. So let's go ahead and, and ask ask for that. Let's go ahead and ask for the number of uh, people attending the cookout. So I'm going to go ahead and use an input function, and the input function is basically going to display, it's, it's going to basically display a message to uh, the user, kind of like a question. And as allow the user to enter input. Okay, so I'm going to type, please enter the number of people attending the cookout. And now remember, any time, any anything the input function returns is a string. Okay, so even if the user enters a number uh, into the uh, the space or the text box that pops up. The user is going to, sorry, the, the input function is going to convert that input that the user has typed um, um, into a, a string and then return it. So anything that the input function ret returns, even if the user enters, let's say, a number here, 10 people, it's going to return that 10 as a string. So we need to go ahead and um, convert that, that 10 as a string to uh, a number so we can use it. In this case, we want to convert it to an integer because it's the number of people. Um, if we don't do that, we can't use a string in, in calculation, so we need to convert it to a number. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and convert this whole thing, call the int function, and wrap wrap it around everything that the user has typed. So I'm calling the int function, converting everything that the user has typed into um, an integer. Uh, let, let me go ahead and change this back to yellow. Uh, eventually, I'll find some a color that looks good, so I'm sorry. I, um, Beg your pardon. I think it's editing preferences. Um, okay. Just a moment. Okay. Layout. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I found it the other time. Certain fonts. Um, uh, selection current. I think it's yeah. I think it's this. 
Okay, I'll, I'll take it back to um, the default, which is a, the yellow. And eventually, yes, eventually I will change it to something. So this is better. All right, so I'm converting everything that a user has typed into an integer. And once we do that, we need we need a place to start. So I'm going to create a variable and store that value in there. So I'm going to call this variable number of people. Okay, number of people is going to store the number of people who are going to attend the cookout. Now, I don't want to exceed 80 characters on a line. You see, this line over here is like a guideline to help me type or code 80 characters on a line. It's like a Python um, standard, like a, py a Python thing, not to exceed 80, 80, 80 characters on a line. And I'm trying to do that. So I'm going to break this line. Um, I'm going to break this line so that um, it, it, appe it appears on the next line. So I'm going to go ahead and, and close the string here. Open another string, separate it with a con uh, with a plus sign to concatenate it, and then before I break it, before you break any line, you have to type the backslash. And so I'm going to type the backslash and then hit enter. So now I've broken it into an, an, uh, another line. So I don't have um, the the line exceeding 80 characters. Okay, or well, the uh, the whole string uh, exceeding 80 characters. Okay, so now I have the number of people. The program also go goes ahead to say that. Once you ask for the number of people attending a cookout, also ask for the number of hot dogs each person will be given. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole thing. It's going to be something very similar. So I'm going to call this variable hot dogs each. Okay, hot dogs each. And I'm going to change the label to please enter the number of number of hot dogs each okay so I'm going to go ahead and, and and break this on a new line so before I break it I type the backslash hit enter and I continue from here so I, I'm just ba basically closing the string concatenating with another string but before I break it to the next line I type in the backslash so please enter the number of hot dogs each of the okay I'm going to go ahead and use a variable number of people just, just just because I want it to look nice I have the variable in number of people so I can go ahead and use it so please enter the number of hot dogs each of the okay so I'm going to type number of people okay okay and I'm going to concatenate it with the string is going to get like this but the thing is, when you try to concatenate this string to, in this case, an integer, Python is going to, the interpreter is going to complain that it cannot convert an integer to a string implicitly. So that means we have to go ahead and do it explicitly ourselves. We have to go ahead and do it ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and call the str function. So just like the int function, the str function is going to convert whatever is stored in number of people into a string. And it wouldn't have any problem con um, concatenating a string to the return value of this str function, which is a string, because this is being converted to a string. So now that should be fine. And again, I've exceeded this line, so I'm going to break it somewhere here. Type in a backslash before I hit, I hit enter. So I can even just go ahead and test this to see. Let me go ahead and save this into the, the folder where I, I save all the Python files. So it's on desktop, Python. Um, I forgot to um, save this in this folder. Okay, so I'll call this. Um, I use the full name: Hot Dog Cookout Calculator. Py, and then I'll create a folder for that. And just go ahead and. Oops. It's not working. Okay, so Hot Dog. Sorry, my typing is bad. Cookout calculator. And then I'll save this in here. Okay, so that, let's see how it displays. So I'm just going to enter. I was supposed to put like a colon here just to make it look readable. Do the same thing here. And then, I'm sorry, the table that I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on right now is a bit, um, it's, it's making too much noise, so please bear with me. Okay, I'll try to minimize it. Okay, 
So I'll run this and then see what happens. Okay, so enter the number of people. I'm going to say 13. I'm going to hit enter and it says, please enter the number of hot dogs each of the 13 people is going to get, right? So I'm going to add people. I forgot the, the, the string people. So it's going to look something like that. Okay, this is just to test it out. Oops, I forgot. I didn't type. Uh, it was, it was expecting something else. Okay, each of the 12 people are going to get. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we have it working. So we can go ahead and continue. So by the time this is this these two lines run, we will have the number of people and we'll have the hot dogs each, right? Okay. Before we even go ahead and and, and continue, right? Before we go ahead, we know that it said it said assume that hot dogs come in packages of 10, right? So let's let's store those in variables, okay? Let's go ahead and store those in variables. So let's go go ahead and, and create a variable. I'm going to call it hot dogs, okay? Hot dogs in a package. I'm using long names just because I like to use long names sometimes. I don't really mind. But if you think they're too long, please go ahead and use a variable that's that's um, um, reasonable to you. That's understand that's understandable to you. But I'm using this just for clarity. Um, you can you can switch to um, or change it to what, whatever variable that you want. So hot dogs in a package now is going to be ten, okay? Because it said assume that hot dogs come in packages of ten, okay? And hot dog buns come in packages of eight. So let's go ahead and also do that. Hot dog buns in a package. That's going to be eight. So I have these va these value uh, value stored in variables. I have the values also given by the user stored in variables. So let's move on. All right, so now I want to go ahead and calculate how many hot dogs I need, okay? Because I know the number of people, I know the hot dogs each person is going to get. All I need to do is just multiply the hot dogs each, okay, the person is going to get times the number of people, and it's going to give me how many total single hot dogs I need, okay? Because I'm going to use that in a calculation. So let's go ahead and create a variable. I'm going to call it hot dogs needed. Okay. Hot dogs needed is going to be equal to the number of people, okay, times hot dogs each. Hot dogs each, like this. Okay, so now we'll have the number of single hot dogs we need, okay, for, for this cookout. Okay. This is the total single hot dogs we need. All right. Now um, we also need to go ahead and, and calculate how many hot uh, how many buns we need. Okay, how many hot dog buns we need. Now, but think about it. If you have, if you need to, uh, let's say, if if so, let me, let me pull out a calculator. If let's say ten people, uh, eleven people, are coming to your party, and each of them is getting two two hot dogs, so I'm going to multiply by two. Then that means I need 22 hot dogs, right? But think about it. If if I need 22 hot dogs, how many hot dog buns do I need? I need one. So we are not trying to think think outside the box and try to um, bring up um, different scenarios. We are sticking to the question. The question said, um, it's you know each person is going to get the, in, uh, the equal amount of hot dogs. So if we need 22 hot dogs, how many um, hot dog buns do we need? We, we are going to put one hot dog in a bun, okay? So one hot dog per bun. So if we need 22 hot dogs, for example, then the hot dog buns we need is going to be the same as the number of hot dogs we, um, hot dogs we need. When you think about it. So in that case, I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to call it hot dogs, so hot dog buns needed. Hot dog buns needed is going to be equal to hot dogs needed, okay? Because again, each hot dog goes in the bun. So if we need 22 hot dogs, then we need 22 buns, okay? So hot dog buns needed is going to be called to hot dogs needed. Okay, so now we have these values. We have the hot dogs needed, hot dog buns needed, and these values up here. So let's see what we can do next. All right, so I'm going to hide this and hide that. Okay, so let's, let's, try, let's try and figure out the minimum number of of um, the minimum number of packages of hot dogs required, all right? Okay, 
So we know there are 10 hot, uh, 10 hot dogs in a package. We know there are eight hot dog buns in a package, right? So if, we've, if we have figured out that we need, in this case, if let's say there are 11 people and two people come, uh, sorry, 11 people and then two hot dogs each, then we need 22 hot dogs, right? So we need to first figure out, let's, let's focus on the hot dogs. How many hot dog packages do we need? If in a hot dog package there are 10 hot dogs, and we need 22 hot dogs. How many hot dog pa packages we need? All we have to do is divide how many hot dogs we need by the hot dogs in a package to get the exact hot dog packages we need. I'm saying exact because it's, it could be a decimal. It's going to be 2.2. .2. In this case, it's going to be 2.2 .2 because when you divide the 22 hot dogs we need divided by the, uh, a hot dog package, which which is which which uh, a hot dog package of 10, right? There are 10 single hot dogs in a package. If we divide the 22 by the 10, in this case, we get 2.2. .2. And the reason why I'm, I'm calling that variable exact is because it's it's exact, okay? We are getting the exact decimal, 2.2. .2. So let's go ahead and, and calculate that because we're going to use it, although that's not the, that's not our minimum hot dog packages we need, but we're going to need it to calculate that. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it again. My variable names are going to be long, but change it to whatever, that's you, whatever suits you, as long as it makes sense. So it's going to be exact, I'm going to call it ho exact hot dogs, okay, hot dog packages, hot dog packages, okay, exact hot dog packages, uh, let's say, exact, okay, so exact hot dog packages, okay, is going to be equal to the hot dogs needed, which is here, or hot dogs needed. divided by hot dogs in a package okay so, th so this is going to be the exact so if there are 22 hot dogs needed divided by the hot dogs in the pack package which is 10 is going to give us 2.2 .2. and I'm saying exact because it's exact it's given us the exact decimal value okay let's go ahead and also calculate the exact hot dog buns we need okay if we if we figured out that we the exact um, the hot dog buns we need is the same as the hot dogs we need then the exact okay hot dog buns sorry hot uh, hot dog bun packages um, yeah exact hot dog bun packages okay so don't, don't get these names conf confused I'm just trying to do do this for clarity so exact hot dog bun packages now is going to be called to the hot dog buns needed, which we've already fig figured out that it's the same as the hot dogs needed. Okay. Oops. The hot dog buns needed, okay, divided by the hot dog buns in the package. Because when you think about it, if we need 22 hot dogs, okay, that means we need 22 hot dog buns, okay, because each, each hot dog goes in a, um, a hot dog bun. So if we need 22 hot dog buns, then and and, and we need, if we need 22 hot dog buns, and in a package of hot dog uh, hot dog buns, okay, there are eight. We have to divide the 22 by eight to get the exact packages of hot dog buns, which is going to be 2.75. So the reason why I'm saying exact is because it's given us the exact decimal value. So I'm going to go ahead and divide the hot dog buns needed by the hot dog buns in the package. Oops, I keep on typing God. Sorry. <laughs> Hot dog buns in a package. Like this. Okay. So this is going to give us the exact decimal. The exact decimal. That's why I called it exact hot, do hot dog buns. This is not the minimum number of packages, right? Now, let me go ahead and explain the minimum number of packages. So, again, assuming there are 11 people coming. They are getting two hot dogs each. I need 22 hot dogs. I need 22 hot dog buns. If I wanted to know the exact hot dog packages I need to buy, I have to divide by 10 because there are 10 hot dogs in a package. If I divide by 10, that means I need 2.2 .2 packages. So, you know, in order for everyone to get a hot dog, right? But the thing is, if I go to the store and I say, if I go to the store, I can't buy 2.2 .2 packages. I can't say, please give me 2.2 .2 packages. They, they don't sell it in singles. I'm, we, that's how the program is, the question is set up. 
So in this case, I will have to buy three packs. Okay, in this case, I have to go ahead and buy three packs, right? So that's going to be the minimum I need to buy, the minimum packages. And there are, there are obvi obviously, there are going to be some left. Because if I buy three, right, that means three, right, there, there are 10 uh, hot dogs in the package. That means there are 30, 30 in there. If I buy 30 and I use 22 of them, I'm going to be left with eight, right? I can't buy 2.2 uh, hot dogs. The same with the hot dog buns in the package. If, if I need 22 hot dog buns and I divide, I divide by the hot dog buns in a package, you know, there are eight hot dog buns in a package. If I divide by eight, just to know how many packages of hot dog buns I need, I'm going to get 2.75. I can't go to the store and say, please, I'm buying 2.75. It, it doesn't work. So I'll have to buy four packs. I need to buy three at least. And again, this is the three packages is going to be enough for um, all the people coming, all the 22 people coming. There are going to be some left, all right. But at least uh, if I buy the minimum, it's always going to be enough, and you know, and and there's going to be some left. So I, but but the thing is, I can't buy 2.75, and that's what what that's what it means by minimum number of packages. It has to be an, you know, an even some kind of kind of a, kind of an even number. Now, if there are five people coming, right, and they are getting two hot dogs each, that means that I need ten hot dogs, right? In that case, for example. If there, if there, if I need ten hot dogs and there are ten hot dogs in a package, all right, to to know the number of packages I need, I need to divide ten by ten, and that gives me, gives me, that gives me one, right? So there are cases where I I don't have anything after a decimal point. I don't have like a, some kind of a, anything over uh, you know um, a full pack or anything over um, um, it's not even, but anything over four four packs. I don't have like two extra that I need after after I bought two packs, or I don't I don't have, you know, there are cases where I need exact packs without buying singles, or I can do that even. So, if I have, uh, let's say I need twenty two. In this case, I can twenty two. I can get two packs and two extra, but because I can't buy the two individually, I need to buy three. So if there is the de there is a decimal or there's a number after the decimal point, that means I need you know extra. So I'll have to buy a whole pack in, in order to save um, th those you know the extra everyone right. But if there's no decimal points, then that means that I need an exact pack. In this case, if there are ten, I need ten hot dogs. There are ten hot dogs in the package, so I need only one. So I need a way to figure that out. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because when I saw this question uh, the, in the in chapter five, there is um. um a method called math.flow and math.seal, which you can use to go ahead and um, kind of round, okay, to the next integer, okay, all the all the all the all the all the, the, the previous integer. Now, but the thing is, I, I can't go ahead and use those methods. In in if I wanted to use those methods, I find it will work, but I don't want to because it's in chapter five, and so far we've learned all the way up to chapter three, and um, I don't want to do that. So we have to stick with what we know. We have to stick with everything that we've been taught from chapter chapter one all the way to chapter three. So now we have to find a way to figure out if there is a decimal point. Okay, if we have exact packages, or we have uh, um, si um, um, single hot dogs. Let's say twenty-two would have two packs and then two hot dogs re remaining. Uh, or, or we have two buns, which is if there are eight of them in a pack, we, we have two buns, which is going to be sixteen. But then maybe we we will need eighteen. So two buns, the two two packs of buns, and then two extra. I hope I hope you get me. So we have to figure out a way to do that. So, but, but like, don't worry. Eventually, eventually, as we're doing it, you understand it. But there's a reason why I got this exact hot dog packages and exact hot dog bun packages. So now we, th this is exactly what we need. But again, we can't go ahead and buy 2.75 um, or 2.2 or, or any 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 decimal we have to buy a, a full a whole pa a whole packages okay so again we're going to use that, our example 11 people coming okay two hot dogs each we're getting 22 hot dogs 22 hot dog buns needed we figure out we figured out the exact hot dog packages we need the exact hot dog bun packages we need so let's try to figure out the minimum number of packages of hot dogs required 
okay so I'm going to go ahead and and, and try to get okay the, the remainder if any okay if any so the reason why I'm getting the remainder I'm trying to divide it equally I'm trying to divide okay 22 by 10 which is for example 22 is uh, the exact hot dog hot dogs I need right I'm trying to divide it by 10 and if I divide it by 10 I get 2.2 .2. meaning I'm oh, sorry <laughs> 22 divided by 10 oops what did I do 22 divided by 10 okay 2.2 2.2 2 means two packs two packs of hot dogs and then two single hot dogs right I'm trying to get the remainder okay if there's a remainder that means there are like I said single hot dogs you know that um, it's there are single hot dogs that do not make up a full pack right so I'm trying to test on this number once I get this number okay the, the exact hot dog packages I'm trying to see if there are single hot dogs you know you know trailing and I do the same thing for exact um, hot dog bun packages. Okay, so I'm trying to test on the remainder. If 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 there is a remainder, if it's greater than zero, if it's greater than zero, then that means there's a remainder. Okay, so the way to get this remainder is I'm going to use the modulus um, sign. Okay, so I'm going to, for example, over here I divided hot dogs needed by hot dogs in a package. I'm going to create another variable and I'm going to call it. Okay, I'm going to call it x. Um, I'm going to call it exact okay should I call it exact I'll change the name if it doesn't make sense but I'll call it exact hot dog packages I'm going to I'm going to use remainder okay because we're using the, we're using the, the modulus if I want I can just go ahead and delete this uh, exact so that it just reads hot dog packages um, remainder remainder okay the reason why I'm using remainder is again I'm trying to get the the hot dogs that, that do not make up a full pack. Okay, I'm trying to get that in over here and, and testing to see um and, te and testing to see if um, there there are any 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 trailing or any uh, remainder of hot dogs that that do not make up a full pack. And I'll do the same thing with hot dog buns. The reason I'm doing that is because if I'm if that remainder is not greater than zero, that that means that we need exact we need an exact like the exact we need for example in this case if it's two point zero it's not greater than zero, so in that case we need exactly two packages. But if it's two point two, okay, like I said, we can't since we can't buy two point two packages, we have to buy three packages. So we need so if this remainder is greater than zero, we have to figure out a way to get this to three. We have to we have to figure out a way to get get this to the next integer okay and that's going to be our minimum number of um, packages we need but if if this number if, if for example we have five okay there are five people coming and there are two two hot dogs each we need ten hot dogs dividing by the hot dogs in a package which is ten we are getting one okay it's like 1.0 okay when when you divide when you divide uh, ten by ten you get one. When you find the modulus of ten, okay, and ten, you get a remainder of zero. So in that case, the remainder is not greater than or equal to zero. So I'm sorry, it's not. It's, it's greater. Than, it's equal to zero, but it's, it's not greater than zero. So since it's not greater than zero, then that means we need exactly one pack. So in that case, we don't have to add one to it, you know, to get the next integer, and it will make more sense as we do it. So. This hot dog package remainder is just getting the remainder of, of 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 this. Okay, so it's going to be the exact same thing. It's going to be hot dogs needed. Okay, and I'm going to use the, the modulus sign, which is going to divide, which is basically going to divide. So let me type the whole thing here. Hot dogs in a package. Okay, which is going to basically divide these two, and then instead of giving me the division. It's going to give me the, the remainder. I'm trying to. I will test on this this remainder. I'm going to do the same thing for hot dog bun. Ho hot dog buns. Um, the remainder. Okay. Hot dog buns remainder. And I'm going to basically do the same division here. 
and then and then try to get the remainder and not the division because I've already gotten the division here okay so now I have the remainder I'm going to test on these remainders to see if it's greater than zero if it's greater than zero in this case if it's 2.2 um, 22 divided by 10 okay 22 divided by 10 I'm trying to basically calculate 22 people divided by a pack of 10 um, hot dogs oops keep on typing the wrong one so 2.2 two packs of hot dogs and two single hot dogs so I'm trying to get this remainder which is going to be this okay hot dog package uh, packages remainder is going to be hot dogs needed divided by uh, sorry not divided by the, the modulo sign okay hot dogs in a package so that's going to give me this two in this case because this two is greater than or equal to zero sorry not keep on saying greater than or equal to zero because this two is greater than zero, okay, we, that means there are two hot dogs, you know, that do not make up a package. In that case, 2.2 can't be our minimum, okay, it can't be our minimum number of packages of hot dogs. So in that case, we need to buy three. So we need to find a way to take this to three, okay? Not using any method in chapter five or chapter four. We have to stick with the tools we, ha we have in chapter three and two, okay? Because that's where we are. Okay, so, I'm going to test on these the, the, the remainder again if the remainder is greater than greater than zero then that means that we have to take this up to the next integer if it's not greater than zero okay so that's that means zero um, okay zero or less but it's going to be zero so zero or less but it's going to be zero so if it's six say two point zero then that means we need exactly two packages uh, two packages of hot dogs that means we don't have to uh, add one okay we need exact if we buy two packages it's going to be exact for everyone okay all right and again we can't buy decimal okay packages we have to buy whole packages all right so i'm testing on these values these re these remainders to see if okay they are greater than zero so i'm going to create an if statement and say if let's start with the hot dog packages remainder so if the hot dog packages remainder is greater than zero okay this is what I want to do if the if in this case 2.2 .2 is greater than zero I mean sorry the the two which is the remainder okay 2.2 .2, that this two over here is the remainder okay that it's the two single hot dogs that do not make a pack because we can buy 2.2, this is greater than zero, okay? Because we can buy 2.2, we have to take this whole 2.2 to three. So what I'm going to do is, 2.2 .2 is stored in exact hot dog packages. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to add one to exact hot dog packages. All right, like this. So because it's greater than zero, this two, the remainder is greater than zero, Okay, the hot, hot dog package remainder, which is two. Again, I'm using this scenario. If if there if there are eleven people and there are two hot dogs each, okay, we will need two point two hot dog packages. So, because this two is greater than zero, I'm going to add one to exact hot dog packages, which is two point two. If I add one to this, it's going to be three. I don't. Uh, it's going to be three point two, but I don't need three point two. I need a, I need three. So I'm going to go ahead and convert. Right, I'm going to go ahead and convert this 3.2. Okay, if indeed uh, it was the it was example I gave, 11 people, and then two hot dogs each. I'm going to convert it to an int because remember, the int function doesn't round it. It basically slashes um, off anything after the decimal point. So I'm going to use the interactions interactions pane. This is just something I, I'm doing on the side. I'm going to go basically add it here. I'm going to insert the Python shell here, like this. Just waiting for it. I'm going to do some tests. So if I have 2.2, like this. Okay, that's just a 2.2. If I go ahead and, and call int, and I say 2.2, meaning convert it to an int, and I hit enter, gives me 2. Now you would think, that, you know, this is right. I mean, this is right, basically. But you would think that if I call the same thing, and I say 2.9, you would think that it will run to 3. But when I hit, hit enter, it still gives me 2. Now, the int function does not round. It only slashes off anything after the decimal point. So whether it's 2.9 or 2.2, .2, it still gives me 2. 
So basically, by adding one to exact hot dog pack packages, I get 3.2. And by by um, trying to convert it to an integer, I'm slashing off the 2.2 because if I, again, if I over here, if I call, if I say int 3.2, It gives me three. Okay, so that's exactly what I need. So this is going to result in three. But once I get the res result, I need to store it back in exact hot dog packages. I'm changing the value in exact hot dog packages to this. Okay, I'm changing. Hold on one second. Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not changing it. I'm not. I'm not putting it back in exact hotdog packages. Now this three right now is the minimum. Is the minimum. If I slash this, if I convert the three point two to an integer and get three, three is going to be the minimum. Okay, minimum number of packages of hot dogs required. Okay, so that's the variable that, that I need to create. So I'm going to go ahead and create that now. So minimum number of. Um, um, it's going to be a. I don't have to give an add number. It's going to be a long name again. So minimum hot dog packages required. It's going to be a long name. So please bear with me like this. So minimum hot dog packages required. Okay, we are, we are not putting it back in exact hot dog packages. That's going to be the minimum hot dog packages required. If in, in, indeed it's 2.2. .2. If indeed it's 2.2, .2, 22 divided by 10. Okay, because there's a remainder, I'm trying. We we can't buy two point two, so we need to buy one. The, the next integer, we have to buy three. So that, but there will be some left, and we'll, we'll calculate how much will be left. If I add one to it, three point two, and I round it to an integer, that's what I did here over here. Add one, round it to an integer. I get the minimum hot dog packages required. But, when you, but this is only when the remainder, okay, twenty two divided by ten, gives you. The, the remainder is, is greater than zero. If I had five people come in times two hot dogs each, I'm getting 10, and I divide by 10 hot dogs, um, hot dogs in, a, in a pack, I get one. Okay, if I, defi if I try to find the modulus of 10 and 10, so 10 modulus of 10, I'm getting zero. Okay, 10 divided by uh, 10 is one remainder zero. And because when I, when, I make, when I make that test over here, because zero is not greater than zero, Minimum hot dog packages is not going to be called to, you know, we're not, we're not going to add one to it and convert to an integer. What we are going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and call an else here. So else, that, that means if it's not greater than zero, okay, if it's not greater than zero, then our minimum hot dog packages required, okay, it's going to be called to. So if it's not, equal to zero. So for like this that, like this example, if there are five people coming times two hot dogs each, we have we, have to, we need ten hot dogs. If I, if I divide ten hot dogs by the ten hot dogs in a package, I'm getting one. Ten, ten, um, ten modulus one is zero. I'm getting the remainder of zero. And because zero is not greater than zero, this else part is going to kick in. So if it's not uh, if the remainder is not greater than zero, then that means we, we need that exact number of package. So we don't have to add one to it, okay? So in that case, the minimum hot dog packages is going to be the exact, okay? It's going to be the exact hot dog packages, okay? Because there, there wasn't any number after the small point. I mean, there was a number, but it, was, it wasn't greater than zero. So that's going to be the exact hot dog packages um, yeah, exact hot dog packages over here. 